What's happening people? Back in the kitchen again and today it is the, fi the day we finally get to try out the Tower Air Fryer Rotisserie um, equipment. All this sort of stuff. Now I don't know how to put it together. I have, this is literally the first time I've even seen it. I think that's just to get it in and out. I think that this must just connect on the inside somehow. These little accessories come with this 5-in-1 air fryer. And yeah, you've seen a lot of quite a lot of videos to be fair of me cooking stuff in it, but this is the first time using the rotisserie. I do have the um the chip basket on order, what also connects to this rotisserie to make nice chips. So hopefully that video will be coming soon. As soon as I get that, I'll be on it trying to make see what's better. Homemade chips on the on the basket or just on the trays, see if it's any different. So I have been down to Aldi and bought myself a whole chicken. So it is fresh class A without giblets. And it was £2.60, this chicken. Now, I was mindful not to get a big chicken because obviously it's only small. Looking at these legs, I might have to tuck it in and there's no there's no twine, is it called twine? String on it at the moment. So so I might have to just um use use string. I've got I've got I have got some string but i don't know if it'll set on fire in the air fryer but what i'm going to do is i'm going to soak it in water and then uh tie it up but just keep an eye on it and if it sets on fire then i'll get it out <laughs> i'll put it out and get it out and it'll be a fail video but hopefully fingers crossed it's going to be a success and um, i don't think it'll fit in if i don't tie it up a little bit so let's get this rotisserie chicken set up let's go so first we've got to take off these uh, take out these trays and then work out how to put this um, all together. So that just obviously slots in there and just sits on so that sits on there. Sits on there and goes in there and then that will turn. So obviously the chicken has got to be on it first. So we've got to attach this these gadgets to the chicken take it from there so here's the bird in all her glory so I'm no expert I've soaked this string in water it's just normal string uh, might fit on fire but we'll have a video out of it either way so I kind of just want to be doing that right crossing its legs tucking it in a little bit and then fastening it up and all being well it'll fit in there nicely now now I'm not going to baste it or anything like that I'm just going to leave it as it is this time obviously you can flavour it and baste it and things like that and put stuff under the skin I am just going to go totally basic and just go with it as it is um i'm going to salt it just to dry out a little bit but that's it so let me stick these uh forks in it and whatnot <laughs> and we'll um we'll get it in that tower so i've put one side on here of the the rotisserie um gadget to go for this tower i'm going to stick it up this uh chickens jacks in out and then the other side should just come out so I feel like that just you just push it all the way through very good that's in and then they just screw on so they have a little screw there that comes up and comes all the way out and then obviously it needs to be it's a lot harder than it looks First time, remember, let me off. And then you got to screw this. Onto there, and I believe that, I'll stick these in there. So here's a small chicken. But I'd 
has got to penetrate to keep it all together. There we go. That one's in, and they're in. So my daughter's gonna get me a copyright strike. My playing music on uh, Alexa upstairs. I believe. I told her I will film too. Teenagers, eh? Right. Let's see if I can get it in this uh, in this tower. Okay, so let's attempt to put this chicken oh, in here. So it just sits on there like that. I'm going to have to push it that way a little bit. And then, or is it sitting in? It sits like that and then goes in there and that should be it, right? The wings are touching the bottom, but, and the feet are touching the side. It is very small. Someone did comment saying that the, um, do I need to tie the wings up as well? Oh, let me do that. So I've had to tie it up a little bit more to make it fit in, to be fair. I did get a comment that said that um, the only chicken that he found was an Iceland, an Iceland chicken that was an extra small one. Let's just push that, push that bit back there. That's still touching the sides there, that that side needs to be pierced it. I think that'll be alright, it's not touching any side. So, that's it. Rotisserie chicken going in, it's just salted, that's it, No, nothing special. I will uh, build up to something more special, <laughs> providing this doesn't... Um, break my air fryer or set it on fire or anything with the random string that I've had to use because I don't have any twine but just twine let's see how it goes so it does have presets so you press these three buttons that's fries that is chops chicken now that's full chicken there but does it have a rotisserie that's kebab so I think that that kebab one will be the one right 40 minutes at 200 and the kebab is 200 for 20 minutes so I am going to put this on for I think you can only put it on for an hour so I'll put it on for an hour and see what happens on the kebab setting so hopefully the rotisserie will just work now Off she goes. Put the light on. So I'm going to keep an eye on this, just in case it, anything sets on fire with that string in there. But we will see. So it's on its way. It is rotating, rotisserie, whatever you call. I guess that this hook is just for taking it out when it's red hot when they uh, because the thing will be red on. I noticed, I, I realised I didn't tell you anything about the bird. It does say 45 minutes plus an extra 20 minutes. It says do not wash chicken, always wash hands, surfaces of course, yes. For a crisp biscuit remove the foil for the last 20 minutes, 45 minutes and 25 without the foil. Obviously we're not going to be foiling it because um, it's rotisserie. So it is. It says a whole chicken, fresh class A without giblet. It says cooking time one hour fourteen minutes. So that's why I've gone for an hour. The weight is one point one three four kilograms, and it was two pound sixty. And it said red tractor certified, and you can freeze it. Um, there's a bit of nutritional and storage details there if you want to. I don't know if that's going to be backwards for you guys, but we'll see. I'll flip it if not. <laughs> so yeah, let's just um, be three minutes. It's not on fire yet. Looking good. So I'll bring you back in an hour. I'll go watch the football. What to tell you, pigs in blankets are reduced to 99p in Aldi. The festive pigs in blankets are now 99p for 12. Reduced half price to 199 don't walk to all day run. We just got a steady four packs. <laughs> See you in an hour. It 
is done. It's been an hour. Check this out. Look at that. Let me see if I can turn this light on as well. Oh, there we go. Look at that bad boy. There she is in all her glory. Look at that. So I get onto a plate, we'll get it carved up, I'll have a look. But my missus has taken over the kitchen right now. Speak up with the mash and all that sort of stuff, so for our Sunday dinner. So let's see if it's cooked, because I haven't got a thermometer, but I feel like it'll be all right. Let me tell you, the chin, the, the, chin, the skin is crispier than any chicken I've ever bought. So there we go, look at that. It's cooked all the way through. Ooh. There we go, it just falls apart. A little it's tender. Look at this chicken. That is under the skin. Wow. But then that skin. Oh, look at that. Look at that glaze. To say I didn't do anything. I haven't seasoned it. Apart from salt, I didn't do anything. That is an absolute win. So I'm gonna serve this up and we'll have a taste. Okay, so it's all important taste time. And before anyone says it in the comments, I know I'm crap at carving chickens, but I'm an eater, not a cook, not a chef. Got a chicken leg here straight off it. Look at that glaze. Let me tell you, I've just been carving it up for the girls and I can already tell you that this, the skin of this is fantastic. And the chicken. Mm. The whole lot of the whole chicken just came off the bone, fell off the bone. Wow. The cat's here. Don't worry. Mmm. That skin. Unbelievable. Wow, I think it's probably worth buying the air fryer just to be able to do this. Now, there was quite a lot of splattering about, so I'm guessing it's gonna have to need a, a good clean. But, who knows? Mm. Chicken just falls off the bone. An hour, 200 degrees. So, Look at this chicken. It's cooked to absolute perfection. Same colour as my head. Mm. So what I, I like to do, now don't get me wrong, this chicken is a bit small. But it's perfect. You can't, one, I dropped it there. It's perfect for a family of three. Because the girls have got plenty there. There's plenty left on this plate here. I've just got to pick it off. We have uh, devoured it. However, what I am looking forward to is when you when you get a chicken and you cook it at home, the worst part of the chicken, in my opinion, or the most wasted part of the chicken, is the bottom where it sits on. When, you, when you're cooking a chicken, the bottom is always soggy and horrible. And if you're, especially if you're like, you obviously you cut your breasts off, you have your legs, but then, if you're picking the chicken off later on to make a sandwich or something for the day after or feed it your cats or whatever, that underneath it's all jellified and oh, it's all, it's not that great. This, let me show you this, I'm just gonna pick this chicken up whole. Underneath the chicken is as crispy as any other part of the chicken. The chicken skin and the chicken is succulent underneath it. So that's that's a real plus. I'm actually going to take a bit. Look at that skin. 
I peel off the skin there, look, the whole chicken in my hand. And the chicken is not soft, it's not it's not horrible, it's all just tender off the bone. Massively impressed with this. I'm glad I didn't burn my house down with the old string. Can get some butcher's twine, but you don't need it. There's another hack for you. Bit of string, soak it in water so it doesn't set on fire, and it'll do an hour in there, no problem. So, what do you think? What do you think to this chicken? For me, that is absolutely fantastic. 10 out of 10 for value, 10 out of 10 for taste, 10 out of 10. Probably the best thing I've ever eaten on this channel. Absolutely love chicken and rotisserie chicken in particular. And I can't believe I can now do it at home. So happy. Tower air fryer, bang on. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you tomorrow for another food review. I'm going to leave you with this. Oh, check this out. So this is the aftermath of the uh, air fryer rotisserie chicken. Even up on the on the mesh bit up by the fan has got it. So be prepared for a bit of a clean up after that. But it's worth it. Did somebody say just What's happening, people? Back in the kitchen again. Hope you're all fantastic. Thanks for watching. Special. Oh, I wouldn't buy that again.